we would lose, we would not, we would not unlock value. We, we would lose significant value if we were to break it into four companies. There's, there are large advantages in both capital allocation, occasionally in the tax situation. There's, it, as presently constituted than in any other form that I can conceive of unless we engage in something to detax the whole place, which we're not going to do and which would probably be impossible anyway, but even if it was possible, we wouldn't be doing it. Uh, but the, we did have this vote and it's now time to adjourn and then we'll come back in a few minutes for the, uh, for the annual meeting. But we did have a vote and uh, uh, unfortunately we, there's not a way to deliver a dividend to a few shareholders and uh, not to others with, although, whereas there is a way to, for shareholders to maintain a even greater dollar investment in Berkshire in terms of the underlying assets and still cash out uh, annually some portion of their investment, uh, just like they would with a partnership and incur fairly little tax in the, in the matter. And I wrote about that last year and you've read that, but uh, there is no advantage to uh, breaking Berkshire into pieces. It would be a terrible mistake. Charlie? Well, generally, I think that you're, you're not being deprived when the stock goes from 100 to 200 and you didn't get a dividend that year. Yeah. Well, it isn't going to go up every year, though. I mean, it's going to go Well, two years or whatever yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. No, it, it, uh, we, we had, by a 45 to 1 vote, we had people, which actually surprised me, uh, we had people say that they preferred the present policy to a change in that policy, so it would be a, be a big mistake to change. And,